Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am ZBest. I have a quick tank review for you guys on the new tier 8 uh, heavy tank, the Charlemagne, that you can only get from ranked battles for 15,000 bonds if you don't um, earn any sort of discount uh, by playing ranked battles. So we'll quickly jump into the uh, stats of the Charlemagne. So my loadout that I used was all bounty and I had optics as well purely because the V range just seemed a little bit low. I did run food and uh, BIA like uh, normal. And of course here we can see that the V range wasn't anything crazy. Now the DPM is extremely low. It's only about 2000 even after using food, rammer, BIA, the whole works which means the 440 Alpha has a 13 second reload, so it is quite a long time. The aim time is also very long, over 3 seconds. And the dispersion is quite terrible, 0.39. So, aims forever, and then you miss, and then you reload forever. I mean, not always. Anyways, I digress. Top speed, 35. So it is very sluggish. It's slow, the power to weight isn't very good, so it might take a while to get to 35. Going hill, up a hill, it is also very slow. HP, nothing special, 1500. What is nice is the 10 degrees of gun depression around most of the tank. Of course, in the back you actually have... Is that minus 0.5? Oh, no, it's just 0.5 degree gun depression. So, just nothing over the rear. Let's go over to 3D model. So, most tanks that are tier, I would say even 8 and below, just don't have the penetration uh, to consistently go through. Now, if you're firing premium rounds, yeah, most of the front is, of the hull, at least, is quite penetrable. Tier 7s and tier 6s, like no chance like there's not a single angle where it's less than like 200 so the, the hull armor i mean it's also a pike nose so the best of course is uh straight on you can side scrape um but again nothing really over 240 250 on the front and it drops down to like 200 on this plate right here which means that more and more tanks can actually penetrate your armor. Now the turret. Seems good until you see this ring right around here. This can be penned by almost anything you face. And if you run into tanks that have like the 300, 340 heat, this is an easy pen. Like we can quickly, let's say, take an AE phase one that we see a lot of the time. Look at this. Almost the entire turret is an automatic pen. Which, sure, like, 340 heat is not the normal penetration that you see, but you do see it quite a bit going against tier 9s and tier 10s as a tier 8 tank. So, super slow, no, no DPM, uh, bad gun handling, and no real armor against anything except lower tiers. So, let's get into a battle and kind of see what's going on. Oh, I, I should also mention the shell velocity. So, 597 meters per second on the standard rounds, which is quite awful. The standard rounds at least are formidable, 924. But yeah, let's get into the uh, gameplay. So, if I recall, I do fire a sort of test shot with the standard round, just so I can show how slow the standard rounds are. This is yet another example of where... There we go, it, it kind of like derps. It doesn't go very fast. This is another example where you're practically required to fire uh, premium rounds if you want to do anything. 
because you can't really snipe when your AP shells are as slow as like the KV-2's uh, HE dirt. Especially when your premium rounds are actually like normal shell velocity. So I think those uh, premium rounds are about 270 pen. Check that real quick. Yeah, 270 pen, 440 alpha, of course, the 924, the HE, and the AP 597. So, and there we go. Maybe I could have aimed better, but goes into the building, misses the uh, sharp future, and then we wait here for a whole 13 seconds. The uh, 440 alpha is. Uh, it is good for trading. I will I will not disagree on that. You can trade quite well if it's one of these kind of corner brawls. You have a hold down, you poke, put 440 in, pull back. So overall, again, not terrible, but what I will add with this is, it is nothing special. It makes decent credits, I think. We can check after. And well, the crew kind of lines up with the rest of the uh, British heavy tanks, but I think the Carne X is just better in like every single way. Better DPM, better accuracy, better aim time. I think it even has better mobility. I think the armor works better, maybe. At least the turret armor might work a little better. Given the option, I might actually play the Carne X over this tank. Actually, I probably would. So we're up to 1754 damage quite early in the game. And there I also show how weak the upper plate of the uh, Liv is. The uh, Liv is not a uh, well-armored tank whatsoever. Overall, I don't mind this being added to the game. I don't mind it being available for bonds. I do think that things that are available for bonds shouldn't be things that people can't get. And there you see straight through the turret. Like, <laughs> there's a reason I chose the AA Phase 1 as my example. So there I actually bait the shot. And I don't understand what that uh, Kunza Panzer was doing there, but. I'll take the damage. I'm now at 3,000, so that is quite formidable for a tier 8. Unfortunately, trying to brawl with an AE is just not, not gonna work. I don't have anywhere to really pen him when he's hauled down. He can pen all of my turret if he hits it. I'm actually going to... Yeah, so that was just a... Uh, kind of RNG miss. It wasn't anything crazy, it just didn't go where I wanted, which means it didn't pen. Anyways, I'm gonna skip because... I'm just uh, sitting here, haven't done any extra damage. Oh, never mind. I did do an extra shot. That was quite a snapshot, and that is one thing this tank does actually do decently well, is its snapshot ability is not terrible. Anyways, going on a short, short drive. Now this is what I mean about accuracy. This is fully aimed right here, and I, I'll be honest, I don't know how that bounced because it went right where I aimed, and I had a green reticle, so. And of course the WZ had moved since then. Hmm. 
there's me complaining about the UDES because that's where like the Pershing even asked if the UDES was going to move up and then he didn't. So the one thing that's really nice, again, like I said earlier, is the alpha. Just being able to trade with tier 9s and 10s allows you to punish any mistakes they might make. So, I got quite unlucky there. If I'd waited half a second, I would have spotted the shot and then gone for the kill shot. This long reload almost, uh, well, almost was really bad because the shot almost clipped me out there. Luckily, it was just short enough that I was able to get my shot off. Then here, um... I think we might see some choice words in the chat again from me. I don't remember what I put. Kind of worries me. <laughs> and then I, uh... I actually uh, was trying to type. And, um... Uh, luckily he bounced and... I was able to finish him off. And that's that. I would, uh go along with the rest of the game, but it's quite boring, and there's a lot of uh, pain going on in the chat, and yeah, let's hit the uh, post-game stats. So, yeah, it was a defeat, even though we were up for so much of it. But, oh well, it was a decent game uh, to show off both the good and the bad of the Charlemagne. 53, 84 damage, 3 kills. Did some spotting, um, which I had it set up for spotting because of the low DPM. Did bounce a couple shots, nothing crazy. Of course, the rest of my team didn't do very much. And then the enemy team, like, they did just enough because they did more than my team. As for credits... Like I said, it was not anything super crazy. I think I got a little bit extra from something, and I don't know what. So, the only real drawback to this tank is that the standard rounds have such slow shell velocity, you never actually want to fire them, which I feel like is not a good direction for Wargaming to take making the standard round not really usable because I don't know why you'd use the standard round at all. Sure, it's uh, a lot cheaper, but you're just not going to do any damage. You're not going to be able to pen anything. You're going to miss everything sniping. But yeah, like I said, I don't mind them adding tier 8s, 9s, 10s to the bomb shop as long as they're not super crazy uh, if they're like new tanks. And maybe I said this before, but I also wouldn't mind Clan Wars tanks being available for lots of bonds. Like, how add the uh, chieftain and uh, make it cost like 35 or 40k bonds. I'd be fine with that. I don't see a problem with that. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed my review of the Charlemagne. It will be available for 15k bonds in the bond shop, like I said. Uh, I don't think actually in the bond shop it might be in the ranked bond shop, which is slightly different. You can earn discounts on it uh, by playing a lot of ranked. And, of course, uh, good, luck, good luck in the ranked season. And don't, uh, don't rage too hard. If you like this video, please uh, like, comment, or subscribe, or all the above. And I will see you guys around.